Well, we're heading into a big travel weekend, so I thought we'd take a look at the national travel weather for tomorrow if you happen to be getting out of town. The only travel trouble spot I see is in the Great Lakes around Chicago, Detroit, Milwaukee. There could be a significant snow accumulation starting late tonight uh, and into tomorrow morning. So if you're traveling uh, anywhere, those three big cities or anywhere in the Great Lakes, uh, it could be dealing with some snow. In contrast, uh, it'll be dry in New York with a high near 50 tomorrow. And if you're flying all the way to the West Coast, looks great. Los Angeles, sunshine, uh, 80 degrees. Here at home, it's breezy and cooler than it has been, but we have plenty of sunshine out there right now. Temperatures upper 40s and low 50s. It's uh, 48 in Westminster, 53 at the airport, 50 degrees in rising sun. Uh, temperatures will climb into the low 50s in the northern suburbs, mid 50s around Baltimore City. But it'll feel cooler than that because of the wind coming out of the northwest, uh, steady 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting over 20 at times. Uh, the winds will settle down after sunset tonight. So things are going to be pretty quiet as we head into the beginning of the weekend. High pressure moving in out of the mountains will keep it dry for us uh, all the way through, I think, during the day tomorrow. But things will change, I think, a little bit Saturday night, uh, early Sunday morning. The same system we were talking about in the travel weather segment is going to turn the weather much colder for us here in the east. We're not going to get the snow out of this system coming across the northern plains and into the Great Lakes, but it is going to drag a cold front through here on Saturday night, Sunday morning, and that will usher in the coldest air mass we've seen so far this autumn season. Uh, temperatures, highs will drop into the 40s by Sunday and Monday. We haven't seen too much of that this month. So let's take a look at this on the future cast, the jet stream digging way down to the south here on Sunday. And again, the temperatures will be way below average. But here's the good news. As we head into the middle of next week and towards the holiday, towards Thanksgiving, the jet stream moves back to the north and all the cold air will go away. And we expect a lot of sunshine on Thanksgiving Day with high temperatures getting back into the 50s. So uh, it's going to get chilly for a couple of days, but it's not going to stick around. Breezy cooler today, mostly sunny. The high temperatures are range between 53 and 58. Tonight, mostly clear, colder than it has been. Temperatures will drop back into the low to mid 30s, but that's just normal for this time of the year. Seven day forecast. The front goes through Saturday night. There could be a couple sprinkles with that. High temperature only 50 on Saturday, 47 on Sunday. It's going to be breezy and chilly if you're going to the Ravens game on Sunday. Down into the 20s on Monday and Tuesday morning with highs staying in the 40s, but Thanksgiving Day looks good. Sunshine with a high near 56.